Good morning, everybody. I'm Steven with Canon.com, back for another technical analysis session. This week, again, we're diving into one of Canon's uh, top 20 hottest stocks. They're showing up again and again on our top 20 list. This is 22nd Century Group, XXII. Let's uh, jump over to the pricing chart now. So XXII, uh, you can see back towards the end of 2020, uh, trading around 80, 50, 60 cents. They do come back up around into the 80s uh, as we get into November. And then look what they've done in 2021. The trend is your friend, and the trend is definitely up on this one, uh, into the mid $4 range right now. So quite the ride they're on this calendar year. Um, we're going to look at the OBV, which is the on um, balance volume. This is just a measure of the volume, an indicator of, of bullishness or bearishness. And you can see it follows pricing pretty closely, up, 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 up. The trend is your friend here again and again. And you can see that this is a cumulative indicator. So we're well above 200 million here. The current value is 233.6 million. Uh, but this is mainly used as bullish bearish. Is it going up? Is it going down? If it's going up, is the price also going up? You can look for divergences there between the price and the OBV. Same with the accumulation distribution line. It's very similar to the OBV, except that not only does it take volume into account, it takes the closing price into account. Um, and so also a cumulative indicator, you can see 30 million here. Uh, so we want to use it the same way. We're going to look for divergences uh, and, and convergences and see if we can take advantage of price movements by following the trends in the OBV and the accumulation distribution. You can see the accumulation distribution is right at around 30 million. It does come up, it does come down, but kind of horizontal here. More recently, a little bit negative, so we may look at the price chart and see what it's doing. And it is doing the same, just a little bit negative here. Since the OBV is cumulative, we would expect uh, if there was no volume, this would level out. And that's kind of exactly what we've seen here, kind of a horizontal line. Uh, let's zoom in to see these things a little easier. Uh, also looking at the MACD, which we've looked at many times. Uh, you can see we had a, a cross here above the orange, which is the signal line. The MACD is the blue line. That coincided with this price increase. Uh, we then dipped below, uh, stayed pretty close to the signal line, and now we're actually in below uh, the signal line here in the MACD. So a little bit of short-term weakness showing in the MACD that may be reflected in this uh, little dip uh, where we went from five dollars to four or sixty, four fifty. Um, we we think that there is a little bit more short-term weakness coming, right? If we see weakness here, uh, no increase here, stagnation, pretty horizontal line. Uh, and a little bit of weakness here. You can see we're working away from, from 30 million here. So um, a little bit of short-term weakness, but overall, look at the trend for 2021. This, this is the reason this stock keeps showing up again and again on our top 20 list. So if they're not on your radar, definitely add them uh, and pay attention to this week's uh, fundamental analysis or the Canon Chronicle to see if there's something in the fundamentals that the market is really responding to as well. Uh, thank you very much. Happy trading.